in line with its objective to support the weakest members of the society, the poor, the sick, the hungry, and the traumatized, the Misero Dialogue Partnership and Services, under the legal holdership of the Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria, had launched a publication titled Stories of Pain and Hope in Abuja. While explaining the content of the book in the press statement, the head of Misero Dialogue Partnership and Services, Julia Kroja, said the book too introduced four stories of traumatic experiences faced by people, especially gays and women, in Nigeria. The story involves a 12 year old girl in Bronca who is sexually abused by her auntie and after an abortion sees life on the streets as her only way out. The next story is about Ibrahim. Ibrahim's parents died during a Boko Haram attack on his village and she is arrested after becoming violent in an IDP camp. A further story tells of Mama Ngozi, a successful businesswoman who is confronted with jealousy by her community and after the death of her husband and is accused of witchcraft. The last story is about Amira, who was married at the age of 15 and suffers from domestic and gender-based violence. These are just a few examples of traumatic experience faced by people, especially girls and women in Nigeria on a daily basis. Many others are caused by violent conflicts, kidnapping, terrorism, displacement and refugee crisis, gender-based violence, childhood trauma, the impact of, impact of natural disasters and system, systemic challenges. All this violence into the early. This publication takes a community-based approach to provide examples of wounded hearts, how to recognize a wounded heart and how we can heal together. Trauma-sensitive work requires a holistic and multidisciplinary approach that addresses the complex interplay of individual, interpersonal, community, and structural factors that contributes to trauma. By prioritizing trauma-informed perspectives, uh, practices, and interventions. Also, lending his voice on the lodge book, the Secretary General of Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria, Reverend Father Zakaria Sanjumi, have this to say. This book is really very simple, in simple language. Anywhere it is told, it will somehow unearth other stories, individual stories. So it is meant to really open those hidden experiences of others. And uh, secondly, it is also good to know that uh, Majority of our people don't even understand that they are traumatized, that they are going through so many things. They, they don't understand it. But if they see something like it, then it begins to make sense that, okay, so this is what is happening, then help can be given. They can also ask for help, somebody to talk, somebody to help them out. So I think that uh, this book should be uh, able to reach policy makers, uh, our community leaders, to see how we can together heal not only individuals but communities at large. Uh, generally, at the moment, what is obvious is uh, the issues of terrorism, kidnapping, uh, banditry, or even robberies. Uh, if you have been robbed once, if you hear knock or some crack somewhere else in the night, you are completely different. So these are some of the triggers. These are some of the issues. However, these are the ones we can see immediately. But there are other ones that are hidden. For example, uh, when you are sidelined, when you are on the mind, when people don't look at you as anything, and uh, you are just running from pillar to post, you can be traumatized. We can be traumatized based on that. And even the situation in our country at the moment, food, you are not able to eat. Then you begin to wonder, are you really a correct human person? Do you have dignity? You begin to ask yourself. Once you reach that level of asking yourself these basic questions, you are already in that world. You are traumatized. You are traumatized. So lack of food, difficulties, uh, of uh, uh, livelihoods and the rest of them, 
they are also triggers to emotional impact. The way forward is what we are doing right now. Uh, people coming together to somehow bring it out, to talk about it. So it is a way forward. As outside of talking about it, is to also work with government agencies, for example, Ministry of Education, to begin with our students. These stories are very simple, and to help them be part of it. Uh, communities, we, we can also go, like what GDPCs are doing, uh, Justice, Peace, Development, Commissions uh, in the dioceses. There are other people, too, who can key into what the church groups are doing. They can also pick up these, these things because we are all uh, working towards bettering the life of the human person. We must also find ways of sharing. However, I understand you can't just share. These days, even those who claim to be helping you, they take advantage of you. And uh, sometimes they use your, your stories in ways that are going to cause you harm. Uh, add more assault to the injury. So it is very difficult, uh, but uh, I, I urge there are honest and sincere community leaders, uh, caregivers that we can share our stories, who will bring help, who will bring consolation uh, to the traumatized. So whatever be the case, we must trust something. On the final note, it was said that traumatization was one of the silent killers of life. Therefore, people were advised to always speak out or seek for help whenever they face any challenge in life. Augustus Oche Ifene, Delegate TV, Abuja.